Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you uh, how to install a Costco hot tub. So um, purchasing it yourself, you can save a lot of money. This costs about um, $7,000, including delivery and, and everything like that. Um, one thing is getting it where you want it to get. They just drop it off in your front yard or your driveway. So you can actually get some plastic pipes as you can see on the ground here. Now, there was muddy that day, so we had a friend of ours with a tractor get it to the back because um, these things do weigh uh, about 900 pounds, so pretty heavy. You want a group of three or four people. You can actually you put it on rollers and roll it to where you want to put it. It's going to take a little extra time, but uh, that gets it where you want to go. ReviewOutlaw.com. New videos every Thursday at 3 p.m. Subscribe today. All right, so we've opened this side panel up. Um, just took one, the three screws off here, two on the bottom, and then slid the panel out. And uh, here's how it arrived. Um, there should be, as you can see, radiator fluid in here when, uh, so it doesn't freeze. It arrives in cold temperature. You want to make sure that's flushed out. And we have information for the electricians right here. Um, and what I'm going to do is you can just drill through this side to get the power into this into this unit. Um, and then we're going to hook up the power. So here I'm, I'm just marking and figuring out where I want my hole to go in here. Um, we have that access panel, so if you, if you ever wanted to, in the future, replace it with a different hot tub or something like that, you could get at, at it or run a new cable and things like that. So it's just nice to have it um, a little bit flexible. But we just uh, basically drilled in the side. Now you could actually, if you, if you had some extra tools and muscle, you could get that um, and put that inside of it, below it. So basically, um, you wouldn't see that little access panel at all. So that would be uh, one option you could do. Bling. All right, so we're going to open this box up. Power in here. Using six gauge wire. So we're going to come in right here. Put the power into the air. I'm going to be going, luckily, to color code it, keeping it nice and easy, neutral, hot, and hot. Very simple. And then the ground, put the ground right into here. So we're gonna get some lines for now. Ground out, we got our guys here and they also have the ends already taken off. All right, so we got hot into hot, too hot. You can color code it red, black, neutral. And then make sure you get your ground in here, very important. Screw that, make sure everything's nice and tight. Clamp it down. And then we can put this cap back on. Fire, I'm gonna be popping it outside here, ready the drill pre-hole, uh, <laughs> the drill pre-done and hole. And then so basically gonna run the wire here in the ceiling. Um, I like to, before I do all a nice wire tie job, I just get it um, in here, come into the panel, come into the side, and make sure we turn the generator off before we turn that. Of course, turn the power off, I get my flashlights in and ready to go. All right, so what we have here is we got our uh, power coming in. It's going into the house. This is coming from the hot tub, um, which goes into this unit right here, which is in, goes into this unit. Um, and originally we had a 50 amp uh, pre-wired, but unfortunately it's a 60 amp that we're gonna need. So we're gonna putting a 60 amp box on this and uh, trying to make that work. 
All right, so now we get the power coming from inside the house. And this is my load, and so that's gonna go red and black into these guys right here. And then my white, my neutral, is gonna go right into this box. Very important, get the ground right into here. So the two grounds are connecting, grounding out the box. Neutral, two hots. Then I have, this is going to the spa. It's gonna pop right into here. And I have my little pigtail that's going from here into here. Make, make sure not to skip this pigtail or try to connect the neutral to that, but you don't wanna do that. All right, let's connect that up. All right, it's time to run some power. So this is going to the hot tub, okay? Down here into the hot tub. And this is what's gonna connect into the fuse. Now I don't have the one from the house uh, out yet, but this is going to be going to the fuse. Now, all the fuses are a bit different, so you wanna pay attention to your particular one. But as you can see, we have load neutral being the white. And actually they color coded right here. That's gonna go into this right here. That's probably the most important one you're gonna to wanna to get in addition to getting the ground in on the ground here. So then you have your red and black, your load going up on this side right here. Um, and that's really important. You wanna make sure it's a GFI. This particular one's a 60 amp, but you're gonna look at your hot tub requirements. Now the one coming in from the house, that's going to be going here on the hot and then um, you know into the, the, the neutrals here. So, But you wanna make sure that you don't take this and put this on the bar. It has to go into your GFI fuse. Very important to do that. I always recommend uh, have an electrician come in and do this for you. That way you're not worried about it. All right. Now make sure you always test your voltage against one of these testers. Get a nice green light on there. Um, and that's gonna turn red if there's any power. Now, if you bang it against stuff, it does go off by accident, but there's no power coming in here unless, unless I bang it. <laughs> no power in here and um, yeah this is right so that we got the power coming in going in to the main feed it's from the house and then goes out through this circuit breaker into here two grounds connected making sure everything's super super tight nice and solid nice and secure can't pull it out and uh, yeah I'm gonna put my cover back on and uh, give it some power hey I really appreciate you watching this video if you have time, please give me a thumbs up, share the video on Facebook or social media, click that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that bell icon next to the subscribe button so you get a notification when new videos come out. Finally, you leave me a comment, I love those. Really appreciate it. Have a great day, guys.